Does anybody recognize this lawn mower? Yep, it's an old MTD. And we have discovered that one of the belts needs to be replaced. Uh, it's a pretty common old tractor, Signature 2000. Uh, they've called them a few different names over the years. Just about every manufacturer has used this model lawn mower to put their name on. So, yeah, did you see how I did that? Unscrew that, take out the two screws on each side, and it pulls out to the back and then up. And you can see this is the belt that needs to be replaced. It's in pretty bad shape. So, uh, first thing you want to do is set the parking brake, and that moves that pulley there. Set the parking brake, and that'll give you slack, a little more slack uh, on that belt. And I think we'll have to remove the battery and the battery tray here so we can get down to that belt and pulley. see this tray just pulls right out. And we can get to the belt this way and help get it off the pulley there. Okay, let's see how we're going to do this. And I think what I want to do is work the belt off of that pulley first since I can still move it a little bit. I was able to get that belt off without having to remove any pulleys. Um, just slip it off that one there and rotate the transmission pulley a little bit while I'm trying to slip it off and it came right off so we're good there. Um, should be easy to take off the front side now. Just have to get it around that little belt keeper there. We might have to remove that or at least bend it out of the way temporarily. Um, and then I believe we have to get the belt around this. So we'll figure that out. Loosen this belt keeper up a few turns here. Just loose enough so we can kind of bend it out of the way and get that belt out. Looks like we can do that now. See that? Belt just slides right out. All right, now we have to figure out how to get it around this. So this is what I mean. Uh, you have to get the belt around that there. So I think the best way is just to remove that bracket, I think it's two bolts over here. Yeah, those two bolts in there. Um, if you lose, if you remove those, that whole bracket will come loose and you can slip the belt by. So that bracket's loose now and it's free now so we can slip the belt around it. A lot easier to do if I didn't have to hold the camera. Oh. All right, we got the belt on the other side now. And I'll just pull it out. There we go. And we're gonna put the new one in. And around that bracket. So, yeah, we want to go like this. Get 
bring it back through and then this bracket try to zoom in put this bracket on top of the belt and there we go now we're gonna mount that bracket back up into place okay the brackets back on so we now we want to work the belt around the pulley and we're gonna have to get the belt here on this side of the pulley I'm gonna put down the camera um, to do that actually I think I might connect the belt up here first up oh, it looks like it's already connected and then we'll be able to work it behind that pulley there don't forget to put the belt inside that keeper there like so tighten down this keeper here it's a 7 16 not too tight these can strip out pretty easily All right, so that's in place where it needs to be so what I need to do now is to get that belt on the final steps I have to move this pulley over and see how it moves and I've got to get the belt on that side of the pulley um, so I'm gonna to have to put down the camera to do that so I almost have it on I think what I'm going to do uh, I've had the parking brake off this whole time so I'm gonna put push, push it down that should loosen up that pulley a bit and give me the room I need hopefully to slip that belt on you can see the belt is on now And it's on the inside of the keeper. And everything's in place. We're ready to test this baby out. You can see I lubed the pulleys here. It's always a good idea. 